Are they? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. right. Um, and he's got another 15 minutes with us. Yeah. To go. So we'll quickly we're going to quickly go through uh, Phoenix Home. Which uh, is the ship I've been looking forward to the most. Yeah. It is a ship I've been looking forward to the most because uh, there's a specific card in here I cannot wait to try out. But you're an Imperial player, Johnny, and there's an issue. I'm both. I'm both. <laughs> Remember, we've got Phoenix Home who's going to have, like, much like the Interdictor, unique cards. Um, yes. Now. Oh, it's got a weird upgrade, hasn't it? Yeah, the model I, is. I wasn't paying attention. I must have been. So. <laughs> like, yeah, Rebels. So if we we no point in getting any of the tokens out or anything like that. Whack those cards they, on they'll, if you if you if you play Armada, you know what the tokens look like. So we'll like a, take a look at the ship. I mean that is a really nice model. That's a really beautiful looking model. Um, mm-hmm. We'll show it to our audience. So before we go on the uh, upgrades, the the two ship cards you get. Slow, right? That's what we got. You got your modified Pelter class assault ship, modified Pelter class command ship. Fifty six for the assault, sixty points for the. Uh, thank you. Sixty points for Pretty the um, for the uh, uh, command ship. Uh, all the same upgrades. You've got your uh, no, sorry, sorry. You've got your officers, your crew, the new uh, the new it's upgrade icon, fleet command, fleet command. Mm. and now the assault ship has a torpedo slot. The command ship has a uh, retrofit. It's slow. Yeah, it's speed very two. slow. Very slow. Uh, Only one yaw on each speed two. Very slow uh, for rebel ship. Um, mm, but about that. not not so. Uh, it's dice quick. is a, it's the same number of dice. Four mm. out the front, two out the rest of the arcs. Uh, two red out the front, one red out the sides, two red out the back. The difference is the uh, fifty-six point. Cost has black on one black on each side, two black on the front. Yeah, hence why we've got the ordnance slot. The command ship has uh, two blue at the front and one blue out the yeah. side. Uh, it comes with a, an evade token, a brace, and a redirect. Yeah, nice. Um, oh, like and that. also the assault ship has a, a, a black die as well as a blue die so for the um, squadron. It's got three squadron and uh, four engineer, and it's going to be benefiting from things like yeah, redemption. For the, for the command um, ship. For the command ship, it's going to be benefiting from sort of maybe yeah. things like um, um, projection special. Um, projection experts. Yeah. yeah. So, the, so Support ship. I think it's a support ship. Whereas the yeah. assault yeah. ship yeah. only has one squadron. Now, the reason I reckon the command ship has three squadrons, they want to make it a mobile a carrier. For this upgrade, which is the upgrade I have been looking forward to. The well, most. should we should we get to that one in a moment? We'll just talk about the ships for a little bit more. Yes. Uh, we'll, just, we'll it, just come back to that one. It's quite unmovable. It reminds. It's definitely got the victory class star destroyer. Yes. Sort of it's, number two speed, hasn't it? I mean, it's sort of. You're not. You're not going. You're going to want to keep it safe. You're going to want to keep it away from things. I mean, um, it, it's got. It's got a decent enough for uh, forward firing arc, but it's, it's going to be susceptible to. Sh- ridiculous shot so I mean it could possibly even be one shot I mean you've, yeah. got, you've got I mean it's only five hull it's only mm. five hull three shields on the front one on the back two on either side mm. yeah, that's, I mean that's I'm looking forward to playing with it but it is a uh, it's fragile it's mm. gladiator stats it is but a gladiator can go speed three yeah it's, it's true but um, I'm not sure what speed has got to do with its defending capabilities it's not, it's not really a case of that it's a, um, in certainly with these sort of expansions and these packs that Rebels um, are good for speed on the whole um, this isn't really, this is going to be a ship that sort of obviously focuses on squadrons and possibly support to the two larger ships as well as mm. they sort of trundle through space yes. uh, for, for those who are like you know incess- obsessed with speed I mean we saw in the um, in the worlds that we saw some excellently flown um MC thirties, um, and which basically won the worlds. You know when it was like mm. you know nipped in behind that maneuverability, that capability of the rebels too to do those maneuvers. You know is lost on this one, so it's going to be a very different um, strategy required for that ship. Okay, so uh, right. the, the fleet command upgrades. Uh, should we do the commander first? Okay, because the commander is normally sort of themed around a ship. So we got uh, this one is commander, definitely themed around commander him. Sato. So from Rebels that, that ready. so he's 32 points so um, mid well, price uh, yeah so he's uh, yeah he's, he's up there he's up there but I'm going off Imperials so there we go uh, he's not he's not cheap but we'll see what he does uh, while a friendly ship is attacking a ship at distance one of a friendly squadron cool uh, before rolling attack dice the attacker may replace up to two of his dice in his attack pool with equal number of dice 
of any colours. Of any colour or colours. So you essentially, if you've got squadron next to... If any ship is attacking a ship at distance one. So yeah, so if your squadrons... Essentially, if your squadrons are going on a bombing run, and you've got your... They've just gone in for a bombing run, and you've got your um, capital ship at the back, the capital ship can swap two of its dice for any dice of any colour... I believe it's rangeless dice, so you can hit people with black yes, dice. Yes, so Mon Karen at long range can then throw in two black dice. Yeah. Quite or you nice. can throw in blue at range three. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's that's very that's, that's very, very offensively. That's very that's that's very hit, hit, hit. that's very hitty, and you're going with your squadrons as well because that's what you do. Is ra- that's like probably the most valid tactic for rebels is have a good mesh between your capital ships and your squadrons. This is just helping that. Because you're going to have that fight wing to knock out those ties or get rid of that rhyme ball. Mm. I like him. I like him a lot. I think he's quite cool. I, I've, I, he's definitely going to see a lot of play. He's definitely going to see a lot of play. Um, I like Major Derlin only from the perspective that I'm usually flying GR-75s. So yeah. miss with Bright Hope will make the, the, oddly the GR-75 nigh on impossible to hit yeah. because it will be able to reduce the damage by two um, if it's not used its scatter uh, by that point. So Major Derlin, seven points. I mean, we're talking about the sort of same expenses, uh, sort of uh, Ramus and Tilly's, uh, Torin Far. Yeah. So he's quite an expensive addition he's, to he's, the squad. He's quite cool, though. He is good, and he's gonna. He's sort of like a mini Motti, I think. A little bit of a mini Motti there. Before you suffer damage from attack. So uh, you're, use, you're using defence tokens beforehand. Mm. So it's it's after you've you can brace, mm. use that, and then if you're on bright hope, bright hope. So if you if if you've lost your scatter and you've braced it down to but two, on, then you can do that. You, you, yeah. On the larger capital ships, it's going to be brilliant. On the on this yeah. particular ship, it's geared up for that. So yes. it's yeah. going to be. It's like a mini Motti. Yeah, you're making this wonderful. Good. Wonderful. What do we think of Ahsoka? Well, I mean, I, I would have assumed I she have killed Ahsoka a Jedi does. purge, so I don't really know what she's doing here. But, um... Okay, during the activation of a friendly ship at distance 1 to 5, you may exhaust this card to discard one command token from that ship. Uh, if you do, that ship may gain one command token of any type. It's That's a two-point nice. card. Two points. I'd add that. Yeah. And it's much like your yeah. uh, your Gazanti, your... Um, um, the, the Gazanti chap, isn't he? Yeah, yeah uh, Commandant... Uh, yes, yeah, I know. Araseko? Araseko. Yeah, yeah. Aren- Arenteko? Yeah. Whatever his name is. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. You, you tap him. The dude. The, the dude. dude. Right, let's talk about this rapid launch space then. Yes. This, oh, this, oh, here we go. This, this is a oh, fun thing. This is like going to be so confusing. All right, before, before deploying fleets, you may set aside a number of friendly squadrons up to your squadron value next to your ship guard. <laughs> so if you've managed to make uh, like your modified Pelter class command ship, we uh, we can have this. You can't, you, you can't, can't put it on. Uh, it's uh, unique because it's, no, it's a it's a retro fit. They didn't they yeah. didn't get us. No. They didn't get us. <laughs> so um, but so I think the most you can have is home one has four squadrons. Um, yes, yes. So you throw you throw that on home. You throw that on the MCAE. The uh, home one expansion pack, and then uh, for each squadron you would activate with this command. So uh, the squadron command. So either, if it's a token, it's one. If it's the dial, it's all three. You may instead place one of your set aside squadrons within distance one. It cannot move this activation. But what it means is if you've got someone coming in and is going to be doing a bombing run for you, you can launch fighters in their face and attack. Uh, oh, I love it. Finally, you've got a way to Just, launch. It, oh, it, 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 makes so the, cool. it, it makes carrier builds feel more like carrier builds because you can does, launch, you yeah, can launch like squadrons within. in the middle of a game. And <laughs> I can't wait for this. This is going to be amazing. Car. I think for the B wing, that's going to be brilliant. Yes, you've got yes. a, like a big ship, like oh, yes. the MC80, yeah, you come just... up and then you just oh. chuck out a couple of B wings yeah. out of your MC80. Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, like, that's why they've put this in there for cool slower car. ships like B wings. Yeah. Hello, Temnum. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi. Hello, hello Dagger Squadron. <laughs> and um, it is going to be brutal, but brilliant at the same time. I, l- I love, I love that. I really idea. think it's going to be good for the B wings. Love it for the B wings. I also, sorry, I just, I just thought about um, obviously high face assault. You set aside squadrons. You can set aside your ship. That can have squadrons on it, and you can have squadrons go with him. So it's like, oh, so it's just come up here. Double, double like, up your Whoa. squadrons. And the only downside, I, the, the only downside, I think, is this is the only ship that is coming with. 
So if you want more than one, you're going to buy a lot of Phoenix Homes. I'm sure there'll be a, a, an old art version like T, uh, the, X17. I reckon so there will be. Please. Please. I've got like four of those. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty please. Yeah. Pretty please, FFG. Please, FFG. Yeah. Like, uh, what, I take back all I said Imperials. about the Corellian campaign. is fantastic. Imperials, what's some, what's some Fletcher love? torpedoes then. So we're a new bit of ordnance. We we often see sort of like assault concussion missiles. Yeah. The, the number one ordnance no. card. Now this is going to be quite... Ha this is quite Cheap. nice. Uh, while attacking your squadron... Uh, it's three points. While attacking the squadron, you may spend one black die of a quick icon to toggle its activation slider to deactivate it inside. So you have wedged in your squadron, you are, you do this, and then a wedge attacks at well, the end of the it's round. Like a, Six it's, attack die. It's, 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 it's not just it's not just wedge. It's like a lot of the time you're attacking squadrons, you want to deny them. Yeah. Like if you go against rebels, you're like, please don't attack me with bomber. It's gonna hurt. Stick um, these on. So the you raider. just stick them on them, and stick it's like. Them on the like, um, and for three points, uh, Raider 1. You can't put it on a Raider 2, but you can definitely put it on a Raider 1. I'd, I'd quite like to see it on a Gladiator 2, because Gladiator 2, um, you get a black and a blue dice rank squadron, I think, mm -hmm. off the top of my head. You mm -hmm. get two dice anyway, one of them, one is definitely black dice. And I like to use it as, a, as an escort ship, so you could just have that. And yeah. just be like, I'm really, really good at shooting... Um, Shoot squadrons, and you have counter as well. We'll go for, the, for these at the end, because they're the new, mm -hmm. th that's a new slot. Um... Fighter coordination team, new yeah, crew team. upgrade. That is crew, isn't uh, it? That's this guy down there? Support, yeah. team. support team. Sorry, I all, too many people. Uh, we have seen this one before. Yeah. It's in the. It is in the interdict because I've got a copy of it. So um, basically, it's been out. Uh, yeah. After you actually maneuver, you may select a number of unengaged friendly squadrons up to your squadron value at close to medium range, and they can move one. Yeah. Okay, old card. But a good card. I think it's brilliant for fast ships if you like. You got A wings and uh, like a, yeah. you know little corvette. Yeah. Yeah. Like, At corvette the same time, it could help B wings. They can move three instead yeah. of two. This would be great for the is it green squadron. Because we said yes. originally that that was going to be ploughing ahead at speed five. If you've got that f fl flown up behind you with yeah. a uh, corvette. Does work with phantoms. Would that work with phantoms? We'll find out when with we get the, the phantoms the out. <laughs> yeah. Would okay, work? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyway, Phoenix, now, Phoenix, Phoenix Home. home. Oh, you God. gain one additional uh, officer icon to your upgrade bar. Um, you can be assigned up to four command tokens instead of two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so Garn Bell is, is it, so, really yeah. good for that. Yeah. So, but, so yeah. That's pretty sweet. Can, yeah. So for three points, you get an extra officer slot, so you can do some more. But and you can have. Twice as many command tokens. So all yeah. the ridiculous sort of combos you should sort of look for the um, the MC80 Liberty. You know, oh, I'm going to have spinal armor and quad turbo laser. All those sort of variations because it has two. It's going to be this is going to be nuts. Um, it's good. Yeah. It's going to so be these, these well. ships, these ships to me seem to be built around comboing. Mm -hmm. You know, these aren't standalone well, ships. You need to build your fleet it's being, around them. It's being the rebels. It's being super healthy because you can have. Oh, I can have four tokens now. Cool. Um, I've got people who can just hand them off. Yep, dish them out. You, like you have some stuff, and you have some stuff, and, yeah. and it's it's some nice insurance for yourself as well because you've got yeah. now, you've got four engineering, so yeah. you've got a massive hammer blow of engineering, and you can have a command as well. So you have six if you want to. Yes. Um, now the new fleet command upgrades. Yeah. Right. These are all unique. Yes. And uh, you unique. can only have one. You can only have one well, type. I, I, you, uh, as, well, but you've got you've got one slot. You, yeah, you've got on one slot. So if you had three of the ships, you could all have all three, obviously, but. So the first one, shields to maximum. So six points. At the start the of the ship expensive. phase, yes, it is the most expensive. The, the, the other two are five. Are two five At yeah. the start of the ship phase, you may discard this card or spend an engineering token. So that with Phoenix Home, all these ships are designed to combo off Phoenix Home in my mind. Um, if you uh, if you do until the end of the round before a friendly ship uh, reveals a command, it may recover one shield, and that's not just the ship it's on. That's any friendly ship. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's a it's a cheaper version of. Um, uh, Projector, uh, no, no, no. The um, redundant shields, redundant, redundant shields, shields, but it, it affects you entire fleet. Yeah, so, so you could combo. Redundant shields, projection experts, <laughs> yeah. uh, shields for maximum. Uh, oh my God. You're gonna be you're gonna be dishing out sort of like commands if you had Leia who could then dish out a uh, a um, command to uh, the the um, Peltier class assault ship or something. Yeah. Um, she could give that engineering token to them off a Corvette. It's ridiculous. This thing will be so you have a Corvette, you have this thing, and you have your two big ships. They are with maybe the um, the the uh, card for him, the light cruiser. Yeah, it's going to be which we'll be going for in a bit. Ridiculous Hopefully. to try and destroy this. Okay. The only downside is um, 
you know, you'll be limited about the amount of shields you can replace on each hull because it's yeah. Really and you, if you want to do it more than once, you have to have engineering commands. So you, oh well, you just blow the card and it's done. Yeah. Now, one thing I would just like to point out before we go no, through no, the, the more token, is, not um, the command, a token. The token. Well, uh, yeah. sorry, the card. Yeah. Are you, you yeah, 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 yeah. Card yeah. Token? But we, what yeah. I mean is, you can't use the <coughs> command dial. You yeah, have to have the token. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But for someone uh, but like then, um, then, if you've got layer addition, yeah, the tokens, yeah. you know, off a of Corvette, or, yeah. which is very, very. Or reactive. you've got four yeah. tokens already. Uh, no, one thing there's there is only four of the uh, three of these. There is not one associated with the construct. No, that, 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 I thought there would be. Mm -hmm. I thought that was one of the ones. Maybe that's something they're waiting. But at the same time, I don't really see how they could do that for concentrated fire. Um, so intensify forward firepower. In fact, I kind of the name I would give that card. I kind of think commander. Sato kind yeah. of does what that would yeah. have done. Yeah. So, okay. entrapment formation. At the start of the ship phase, this is for your maneuver token, so you discard the token or the card. Um, if you do, until the end of the round, each friendly ship may change its speed by one during the determined course step. So, this is a way for you to slow all your ships down, speed them up. You know, it's for five points. That's nice. It's this, it's a good card. That's nice. I like it that. It would be brutal on a um, MC80 Liberty um, no, attached with no. a uh, attached with engine text. Yes. Yeah. That's not. <laughs> that's that's the problem not nice. is that, that would go so fast it would actually move away from this. So <laughs> fortunately, none of these um, none of these upgrade cards are range um, require a certain no, range. No, just anyone on it the board. It's just yeah. on the board. So that is as long as the ship survives. So, so this this thing this loony ship can be flying around causing all sorts of problems, yeah. as it does, brilliantly. Now, this is, to me, what, what makes me say that the command ship has been built with rapid launch uh, bays as well, has been built as a carrier. Yes. All fighters follow me, so you, uh, you discard a card or a squadron token. If you do, until the end of the round, the speed of each squadron that a friendly ship activates is increased by one to a maximum of five. B-wings. B-wings. So B-wings with that and um, uh, fighter coordinators. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that would be useful. Uh, basically, we'll be going at speed four. Yeah, these things seem built... I think this entire ship has just been sent out well, to fix the B-Wing. I think it has. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think uh, That's my personal theory. I, I wouldn't, Purely for the B-Wing. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Again, uh, like, with all of FFG stuff they give us, it's all a self-contained unit. So a lot of the stuff they're going to give us is going to work yeah. together. But at the same time, they do combo off each other brilliantly. They do. Yeah, but that's that's what the Rebels, that's what the rebels are doing. They're, they're just help, being really healthy and nice. Why do you as think they do in that most this, games? there is no Imperial equivalent of these come up cards? Is it because that these are unique and the Interdictor cards are also unique for the Interdictor? Yes, so I think maybe they're, very they're yes. trying to bring in a unique ship for the Rebels, which only the Rebels can feel that card. I personally think that's like yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably that's probably what they're fact, doing. I didn't even I didn't even uh, talk to that. So I, mean, I think that's what it is. I think it's them trying to uh, because the Imperials have a ship that is purely for them. It's mm -hmm. part, the Rebels need something, not to even the battlefield, but to. To, to make it you know, fair. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's still all in all still fitting with the rebel scene, which is helping each other because yeah. these things are doing that. But yeah, I mean, it would it would be nice to see those upgrades because I don't know if the if the experimental upgrades for the interdict have quite such an effect on the game as mm, those no. do. Uh, the big but they like, do have unique, so do. that sort of kind of smacks a little bit into it. And yeah, yeah, I, I can see, I can see where you're coming from, but I'm not quite sure if they're on the same, no, on par no, no, with each not. other. Well, I must leave. Yes, us. Andy must leave us. We have another hour to go, so me and Chris are going to try and go. Do you through. want to do the um, the other? proper yeah. capital ship. Should we do first. the cruiser first? Yeah. yeah We're going to take a quick break for a few minutes while we just prepare. Yeah. So um, we'll see you in just about five minutes time. Yes. And uh, yeah. Good luck guys. Bye guys. Thank you. So long.